I'm Nathan Hamlin Bean. I'm a privileged, white, straight, cisgendered, American male. I tried going to school 15 years ago, uh, but was in no way ready for that. In 2005, I decided if I wasn't going to go to school, that I wanted to travel. And so I ended up visiting uh, some poor countries, Tanzania, India, Nepal, and a few others. I observed, I listened, I volunteered, had some very meaningful conversations. And then a few years later, in 2010, I went to Haiti three days after the earthquake. I was part of a team that was evacuating people uh, from Port-au-Prince up into the mountains. Some of these people had lost their homes. Oftentimes they'd lost loved ones. Uh, some of them just seemed to have lost everything. And after a couple of years working in Haiti, going back and forth, I decided I wanted to go back to school uh, to pursue a degree and a career working with the people of Haiti. I've learned a lot since I've been back in school. Uh, I've learned that, hi, I'm from America and I'm here to help, are some pretty complex words. I've learned that the history of Haiti is so, so, so very relevant in understanding where Haiti is today. I've learned that the best of intentions are never enough. I've learned, most importantly, that I have a lot to learn. Huntsman or a player that made you pay the cost that now assumes relaxed positions and prostitutes your loss. Were you tortured by your own thirst in those pleasures that you seek that made you Tom the curious that makes you James the weak? And you claim you got something going. Hey, Vionella, I've been playing children's music in this house. But I'm not here. Linella, hey, oh, I'm not here. Okay, Ebi, the world is coming to an end. As we mentioned, the story is still developing. Seth Doan has more of what we know right now. The earthquake rocked this impoverished Caribbean nation late this afternoon. The 7.0 quake was centered roughly 10 miles from the capital city, Port-au-Prince. And you claim you got something going. Something you call unique. But I've seen your self-pity showing As the tears roll down your cheeks Soon you know I'll leave you And I'll never look behind Cause I was born for the purpose That crucifies your mind so can convince your mirror as you've always done before giving substance to shadows giving substance evermore and you assume you got
And you assume you got something to offer Secret shiny in you But how much of you is repetition That you didn't whisper to him too Dr. Paul Farmer describes structural violence as a term that is apt because such suffering is structured by historically given and often economically driven processes and forces that conspire, whether through routine, ritual, or as is more commonly the case, the hard surfaces of life to constrain agency. For many, including most of his patients and informants, choices both large and small are limited by racism, sexism, political violence, and grinding poverty. Structural violence is a powerful force and it permeates the globe from China to the Ukraine, to Haiti, to my community, Seattle to whatever community that you might be in. Here's my promise to no one in particular. I will listen. I will continue to learn. I will try. I will do everything that I can to assist people who have had their rights stripped of them. I will try and I will inevitably fail. And I'm not gonna be afraid to fail. Newton's third law says that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Structural violence may be a powerful force, but I promise to dedicate my life to structural healing. Everyone you fight And all that is now And all